D-Man here. Just telling you, I hope you like this video. So let's get in to the video. <laughs> Enjoy. Hello guys, D-Man here. Doing another review on a movie this time. This time, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. <laughs> man oh man, do I gotta say, this movie was great. <laughs> Okay, so let's do the normal, what I do, which is a non-spoiler, then spoiler. I'll warn you before the spoiler part comes up. Um, and also, in this movie, uh, <laughs> I do want to say, before I start the review, that there is a end credit scene. At least one of them. I didn't stay long enough to say there was a second one. So if there is a second one, uh, and I didn't tell you about it, my bad, I guess. <laughs> But there is an end credit scene, like there usually is in Marvel movies. But anyways, let's start the review. So, non-spoiler first. So, what can I say about this movie that won't spoil it? Uh, <laughs> Baby Groot is awesome in this movie. Uh, the gra like, like, this, <laughs> I don't know, like, uh, how to say it, like, um, what is it called, uh, <laughs> Like, the effects and stuff in this movie are really great, you know? It's a step up from the last movie. Like, the the way it looks and stuff, it's a step up from the last movie. It's really nice looking and really just awesome looking. <laughs> uh, and the parts that are hilarious are freaking hilarious as hell. Except one part, but I'll get to that part in the spoiler review. There is one part that I don't like about it, but I'll get to that part. <laughs> um, but most of it is freaking hilarious, okay? And there is a couple, there is like a sad part in there too, so be warned, there is a sad part in there that's pretty sad, but pretty goddamn hilarious. It's not hilarious, but sad, but other than that, it's a pretty goddamn hilarious movie with really good graphics. Uh, like, uh, <laughs> I'm thinking of a video game. <laughs> with really good, like, visual, like, effects and stuff. Like, really good. Um, Groot and Rocket Raccoon look great in this movie. <laughs> um, like, Groot and Rock Raccoon, man. They just look great in this movie. And I did watch it in 3D, by the way. <laughs> Even though 3D hurts my eyes, it's the only one that was playing in the theater at the time. So I watched it in 3D anyways. <laughs> but man, oh man, is this movie darn well great. Uh, but anyways, let's get in to... Uh, spoiler, wait, wait, before we get into spoilers, <laughs> I forgot to rate it first. Okay, so, in a rating between 1 to 10, uh, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, 5 being average, uh, the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie, I'd rate about an 8, and this Guardians of the Galaxy movie, I'd rate about an 8, because it is on par with its predecessor, I wouldn't say it's necessarily better, but I would say it's on par with it. So definitely watch it if you like the first Guardians of the Galaxy. This is pretty much on par with it, you know. It's it's really great movie. <laughs> um, so spoiler alert. We're going to spoilers. <laughs> In three, two, one, spoiler. Okay, so the spoilers are First off, the, f the beginning of the movie was hilarious, okay? Baby Groot, like, they're starting to fight this uh, alien monster, like, thing that flies in from space to these golden people. I forgot their name, but they're golden people. They're these people right here. These people, they're a race of golden people, um, and they're, like, really high and mighty and kind of douchebags. <laughs> But they do fight this uh, monster thing. Uh, it's kind of like a like a space octopus with teeth. Uh, it's this thing right here. They do fight this thing right here. Uh, and he does jump into it, thinking that the inside of it's going to be softer than the outside, even though it's not. And in the end, um, I forgot her name. <laughs> I know that's bad, but the green lady kills it in the end. Um, but the whole time the fight is going on, we don't actually get to see it that clearly. It's all fuzzy and stuff. But the whole time it's going on, Groot is dead in the fore in like the front ground. It's freaking hilarious. The way baby Groot is dancing, it's it's hilarious. 
Um, and I do want to say something about the 3D at this point. The 3D made it look like when the far away shots were happening, the 3D made it look like they were toys, at least to me personally. It made it look like the little people were action figures almost, the 3D did. Uh, at least that was to me. <laughs> I don't know what the 3D looks like to you, but to me it made it look like everything was like a toy from far away. Um, but anyways, I don't really like 3D that much. <laughs> but anyways, back to Baby Group dancing. It was hilarious. Uh, I tried to watch the fight and Baby Groot dancing. It's almost impossible. You're going to have to watch it like twice just to watch Baby Groot dancing and then watch the fight. <laughs> Even though the fight's blurry, you can still see somewhat of it and it's awesome looking. But Baby Groot dancing, <laughs> most hilarious thing I ever saw, man. Like, one of the most hilarious things I've ever seen in a movie. <laughs> they still got the talent for the comedy, man, I gotta say. Uh, and then after that, uh, they move on to talk to the Golden People. Again, I forgot their names. <laughs> so they talk to the Golden People. Um, Star-Lord makes some references to, like, pretty much want to bang the leader. <laughs> and she's kind of flirting with him, too, so it's kind of funny. Um, and Rocket Raccoon steals the power batteries that they are protecting from the space creature. So now the Golden People want to kill the Guardians of the Galaxy. And in the end credit scene, the Golden People create a new weapon for the Guardians of the Galaxy. I forgot its name, but I'm pretty sure it's in comics somewhere. <laughs> uh, but it's just kind of like this coffin-looking thing. At least that's what it looked like to me. Uh, but supposedly it's like a super strong, badass thing that's going to fight the Guardians of the Galaxy. So anyways... Rocket steals these things. They go on a journey. Uh, the golden people ask the blue guy again. I forgot his name. <laughs> I forget a lot of people's names. I'm sorry. <laughs> but the golden people ask the blue guy with the best weapon in the whole Marvel Universe. The goddamn whistle arrow. <laughs> that thing is so awesome. At one point in this movie, he even like floats down from the sky with it. Like, you could just hold on to that thing and fly. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> like, that's the best weapon in all of Marvel, I gotta say. All of Marvel, man, that whistle thing is the goddamn best weapon. <laughs> you just, like, <laughs> it just f flies around. Of every weapon I've ever seen in every Marvel, we in every Marvel movie, right? That's the weapon I'd want. <laughs> like, like, Captain America's shield, Iron Man's suit, um... <laughs> Thor's hammer, all of those might be cool, and Thor's hammer and Iron Man's suit might be more powerful, I guess you could say, but man, that whistle thing <laughs> is the awesomest weapon in all of Marvel, in my opinion, I'm just saying. Um, anyways, they asked the blue man to go get the Guardians because they want to kill them because they stole their batteries, <laughs> uh, so they do, and... He's just like, we're not going to take the Guardians. The blue guy says, we're not going to take the Guardians of the Galaxy to them. We're just going to take the batteries and sell the batteries instead. Um, which makes the people of his crew want to mutiny against him. Which brings in the blue chick. I forgot her name. I'm just going to call her blue chick. Blue man and blue chick. <laughs> Again, I'm not good with names. I'm sorry. <laughs> but the blue chick gets released because... Uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy had her from the Golden People. <laughs> so she gets released from them. Um, and she basically sabotages the uh, rocket and the blue guy. <laughs> um, and how does she sabotage him? She just shoots him. <laughs> she doesn't kill him, but she shoots him. Uh, so it's pretty funny. Pretty awesome. Um, and at this point... Uh, the rest of the Guardians of the Galaxy are on the planet, are on, uh, what's his name again? Mogo? No, that's not his name. <laughs> He's a celestial planet, you know. He's like a celestial being. He's a giant planet. He's Star-Lord's father. In the end, they end up killing him, by the way. <laughs> and Star-Lord le Star -Lord learns that his father put the tumor in his mom's head. Which is really messed up. Because Star-Lord's father in his own demented way. 
really loves like really loved his mom, you know. Um, so he says, like, I knew if I kept on going back, I'd stay there and like want to live a happy life with your mother. So instead, I pretty much murder her <laughs> because he has ambitions, you know. So yeah, that's a little bit messed up, but whatever. I guess his ambitions won out at the end. So he loved her enough to kill her. <laughs> uh, but anyways. At that point, Star just fights back against him because at first he's like listening to this guy and like getting brainwashed. But then when he finds out, like you murdered my goddamn mother, I'm gonna kill you. Uh, really awesome scene. <laughs> um, but anyways, let's go back to where the blue lady takes over. So the blue lady takes over the blue man's crew, pretty much. Um, Rocket Raccoon and Groot get captured along with the blue man. <laughs> and all of the blue man's crew that still want to be with him gets killed except for one. Uh, and we'd see Howard the Duck again. <laughs> uh, and then we get to like, f we get to like meet Taserface, uh, which is a really stupid name. And in the movie, Rocket Raccoon makes fun of it and it's hilarious. Um, but anyways, the blue girl goes to the planet, goes to the living planet, I'm going to call it the living planet guy. So she goes to the planet to kill the green girl, again, bad with names. <laughs> she goes to the planet to kill her. They find out that there's a bunch of dead, like, kids underneath it that were all his children that didn't have any, any, any not psychic power, any celestial power, uh... So he just killed them instead. <laughs> um, but Peter, uh, got, like, you know, Star Lord has the celestial power. Uh, <laughs> he has the celestial power that that they need to make, like, super strong sort of thing. Like, because I'm not explaining this way, right? Am I? <laughs> this movie is just so good. I can't. I can't speak right. <laughs> I try to make these things coherent, but I, half the time I don't. <laughs> but anyways, this, the planet guy, the living planet, wants to basically turn everything into him, but he doesn't have that much power to do that. So he needs another celestial to do it with him. So that's why he made all these children, to make one of them a celestial so they could help him take over the entire universe pretty much. Uh, which it almost works, but at the end, Starlord fights back, uh, ends up killing his own dad, uh, revenge for killing his mom, I guess. Um, and he almost blows up with the planet, but the blue man saves his life, and Starlord realizes that he was pretty much his dad the whole time. Uh, really bad dad, but a dad nonetheless. Like, the person that was there for him. Uh, so it was really cool. It, and he dies. The blue man dies at the end. It's really sad. <laughs> it's actually this really sad moment. Only ruined by, like, freaking Star Lord's speech. Which is a horrible speech. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really awesome just to see this. Like, to see this movie is awesome. It's freaking awesome and a fantastic movie. Just great all around. Again, an 8 out of, like, 1 out of 10. I give this movie an 8. Uh, it's on par with its predecessor. It's just that good. <laughs> and I th I don't know if there's another Guardians of the Galaxy movie coming out, but if there is, hopefully it's just as funny and just as good as this one is. Um, but yeah, man, this movie, freaking awesome. I didn't spoil everything, obviously, because I'm only one guy and I can only remember so much. <laughs> but I did spoil all the major parts. If you wanted to be spoiled that badly. Uh, but yeah, man. This movie, freaking awesome. Freaking hilarious. Um, pretty sad part at the end there where the blue guy dies. And his old crew gets together to salute him. <laughs> Which is another part that I didn't really spoil. That I didn't really get into that much. But there's a whole thing with his old crew. That pretty much said that he wouldn't even get a funeral when he died. But he did. <laughs> um... It's really kind of funny because as soon as they said he wouldn't get a funeral when he died pretty much, I kind of realized that he was going to die. 
at that point, I think most people, I would say, are going to realize that he's going to die at that point. But you'll see in the movie, and you might realize, you know. <laughs> but anyways, really good movie. Uh, pretty sad parts in there, like a few sad parts in there. But mostly funny. And before I leave, I gotta say the one thing I didn't like about the movie is this one Pac-Man scene. It just totally, like... It took me out of the movie for a second, and it was totally stupid. <laughs> I know a lot of people are going to be like, that was hilarious, and like a reference to Pac-Man, hilarious. But I thought it was totally stupid. <laughs> it just took me out of the movie, man. I, couldn't, I, I didn't like it. <laughs> but anyways, uh, end of the review. Hope you liked it. I know I wasn't very co coherent. Uh, I try to be, but I'm a little bit tired today. <laughs> Usually I'm more coherent than this. I guess I could make another... I guess I could, like, redo this whole thing, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Anyways, next time I'll try to make a better review of whatever movie's next. But anyways, uh, hope you liked it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, my friends, stay sane. Peace. Hey, guys. D-Man here. Just remind you to subscribe by clicking here. It works on mobile. Or click here to watch my last video. It also works on mobile. Just remember, subscribe and stuff. Uh... Alright, bye-bye.